Man, this thing is big. Yanking this mini tablet out of the box, Lenovo is outfitting the Fab 2 Pro with a charger, which looks suspiciously like the one you might get with the Yoga Book. The papers will never, ever read, and some earpod style buds. I know this thing is huge, but I kinda wish you got some kind of protective case for it. Why the extra protection? Because of all these sensors on the back. The Fab 2 Pro is being released here to show off the first generation of consumer augmented reality, which means you're gonna wanna fling this thing around more than some of the other phones we might be currently reviewing. A quick look at the specs, this beast is packing a Qualcomm 652 chipset with a 6.4 inch display, rocking a quad HD resolution of 2560 by 1440. 4 gigabytes of RAM on tap, and the phone comes with 64 gigabytes of built-in storage. You can add more via microSD if you give up the second SIM card slot. Now, considering the size and shape, the 4050 mAh battery doesn't really seem that big anymore, especially after using a couple other phones recently which have hit that 4000 mAh capacity. It's a sharp cornered aluminum monster, and I'm having a few Lumia 1520 flashbacks just holding it. Now, we could go through the normal phone first impression stuff, but really the main showcase here is Google's Tango. Sensors and cameras on the back of the phone do an incredible job of recognizing objects and tracking the phone's location in space without the need for additional location sensors. Movement tracking in virtual reality is all the rage, but you need to set up beacons to achieve that. Google's Tango on the Fab 2 does all of that inside the phone. As this is bleeding edge tech, there aren't a lot of apps to show off yet, but the games and programs we do have are very promising. Oh, look, here's a little velociraptor in my office watching Netflix. How adorable. But what if we want to see what this animal might have looked like life-size? Ah, there we go. Gaming will certainly be a driving force in augmented reality, and some of these early apps are already pretty engaging. Like how well the phone does it, fluidly tracking objects in space around my table while I'm also recording screen capture. Not bad for a mid-tier processor. Even moving up to more demanding action. I think virtual reality is a pretty poor solution for laser tag style community play. And the Fab is already showing us an AR gaming future, which will be easily reached by people looking to make game console level investments. And we can't overlook the practicality of this system either. Even with the rough edges around my patio, it's not difficult getting some measurements for where we might put in some shelves. Lowe's expands on this with an app that allows you to preview furniture or paint in molding. They'll be promoting the Fab 2 in stores, and this is an excellent showcase of AR's potential. The app needs a little polish as it gets confused in dim lighting, but this is a great starting point to explain augmented reality to general consumers. We bandy about phrases like, it just works, but the Fab 2 starts us off on a much more advanced track for augmented reality. What's great is you don't need to explain a whole lot. You hand the phone off to someone with an app loaded, and the experience mostly speaks for itself. Now, there are some early concerns for people who might be looking at this as an actual phone. The Fab doesn't have NFC, and the fingerprint sensor location is low enough that I keep smudging this camera sensor, and really digging into AR applications can drain this battery pretty quick. But ultimately, the fun of a gadget like this is living on the bleeding edge. Virtual reality is very cool. But augmented reality has the potential to impact nearly every single app and service we use. And we're just getting started, folks. As always, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for our full Fab 2 coverage. This will be a fun review to produce and help us out with some sharing on your favorite social networks. For Pocket Now, I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell, some gadget guy on Twitter and Instagram, and I will catch you all on the next video.